Hello students, welcome back to our class of DBMS. In our last class, we have already introduced what is an ER diagram and what are the different elements in an ER diagram. In today's class, we are going to discuss in detail uh, one specific region in ER diagram that is relationship. Now, it is uh, going to be very easy for any designer to define the entity along with its attribute and we have seen in last class that just simply make one rectangle specify the name say employee and then I am making another one say this is my project okay a project okay now I have a relationship table in between them <coughs> now they are connected so employee Involved in, involved in a project. Now tell me um, what will be the relationship? See, uh, one employee can do many projects, and in one project, we can have more than one employee. I'm again telling you, one employee can. Uh, work in many projects and in one project you can have many employees so it is going to be what many to many yeah correct now say another situation is there no let me finish this one now in this case we will have this employee table I'm specifying the attributes so, EID then in them and then maybe mobile Okay, now now this is the ID and the name and maybe details. Now I know that this EID is going to be the primary key this EID is going to be the primary key now this PID is going to be the primary key for this project table whereas this EID is going to be primary key for this <coughs> employee table now these two that means this employee and this project will become two tables one is employee table and one is project table but we also need to make this involving junction table and there will be at least two attribute and these attribute will be simply the foreign keys of these two tables that means ID, ID. we have two ID one is EID for this employee table, PID for this project table and we will simply specify these two attributes in this junction table. This is only true when you have many to many relationships. But when you have a relationship like one to one, then there is no need of specifying or making this physical relationship table 
that is say this is one relationship between one to one let's say I'm taking one example like maybe husband and this is wife now one husband can have one wife and one wife can have one husband so maybe this is my has relationship but there's no need to make this hash table in physical database okay now oh, another case that is when you are going to have a table like this that is Table. and this is another employee table employee table and this is say department table now this department table have two attribute one is the ID and the next is called the name and here is my PID and my enum. Now, what will happen is that you already have two of these attribute. Okay. Now, this is my key, and this is also my key. And this is walks in walks in now <coughs> what we will do in this case is that we'll simply see the cardinality now here one employee can work in one department only but in one department you can have many employees so we will write like this one and in this case it will be m and I have seen this example in the last uh, tutorial also but the main thing that I am going to discuss here is that now in this case you are going to have this department as a physical table this employee as a physical table and uh, there will be no physical table for this works in but this DID will be in this table so that means this one side that means uh, in your relationship uh, any any side that has one will get its primary key in this m side okay so that means we must specify the did for every employee done okay so there are three options for us one is many is to many in that case if we need to have three of them that means this uh, main entity table one and two and as well as this uh, junction table we will have maybe we can have some more attribute in the, here also say starting date yes date yes date starting date or like something like that you can have that you can have as many attribute you can want in this table and it will physically exist okay but uh, in this case here you can have any number of uh, attribute for this husband table and uh, this uh, wife table but and uh, uh, this wife and husband table will also physically exist but this hash table will not exist and in this case also this employee table will physically exist and this department table will also physically exist but this works in not exist but this did will come in this side that means this one part in in this case uh, this DID will come in the employee that means for every employee you will simply specify the department name and if you want to have any more detail about that uh, department then simply come to the department table and through the DID you can have in the detail of that department okay we will come to uh, SQL and then we will discuss how how these things are done through um, in real life example in through 
SQL in Oracle or any other uh, environment in our uh, forthcoming classes. Okay, I think this concept is clear. Okay, thank you.